Hey everyone, welcome back to Tip of the Week. For this week's video, I want to show you how you can blend two different exposures together to create one single image. So let's start with this photograph here. And this is going to be the dark exposure that we use for our image. Well, if I look in my info pane here, even stopped all the way up at F22, and I had my ISO all the way down, I was only getting about 0.6 seconds of shutter speed. Well, I wanted it a bit longer so that I could get more of a silky, flowy look on my water. So what I did is I shot this photo really dark at a negative two exposure value. And then if I hit F on my keyboard, if I look over here, I shot the same exact composition, just a lot brighter so that I could get more of a silky look on my water. So to start out blending these two exposures together, I'm just gonna go into my film strip view mode and I'm gonna drag this layer onto this base composition. So now I have that brighter exposure on top of my base layer. And if I turn this off and on here, you can see it's the same composition. We just have a lot brighter area on our water. So before I start editing, I'm just gonna crop this shot so I can get some of these dust spots out of here. Perfect. So now we can start blending these two exposures together. And there's a few different ways that we can do it. And one of the easiest ways is to use a masking bug. So to start with the masking bug, let's make sure we have this top layer selected. And I'm actually gonna double click these and rename them bright, dark. So let's make sure we have that bright layer selected. And then let's hit M on our keyboard to grab our masking bug. So, I know that I only want this bottom area of this layer to be revealed onto the photo. So up here in my preset menu, I'm gonna choose a preset that only reveals that bottom area. So now I'll just click this and watch as it removed that top bright area revealing that bottom base layer. So now I can move this around and feather it And now if I go up and I turn this bright layer off and on, it does a good job of already revealing that brighter water. And I can always go up and I can move this around. I could feather it even more or less. And one thing I like to do whenever I'm modifying different layers is I'll go to that bright layer that I have on top and I'll lower the opacity so that I can blend it more or less with that base image. So that's one way to blend on a brighter exposure. But if you wanna have complete control of where you mask in that brightness, let's use a masking brush. So I'm gonna go up here to my bright layer and I'll just reset that mask. And this is the technique that I like to do whenever I'm blending exposures together. I go up to that bright top layer, I'll invert that. So now I don't have it revealed on anywhere in my photograph. So now with my masking brush selected, I'm gonna make sure I'm set to paint in by holding down shift and hitting X on my keyboard. And now I'm gonna go up to my top tool modifier bar here and I'll lower the opacity to about 15. And so what I do now is I'll just Gently brush this in, revealing the brighter areas on that top exposure. And then you can just brush around, and now you have complete control of where that top exposure goes. So now, after just a few brushes, watch as I turn this off and on. Does a really good job of bringing in a lot more flowy, silky water and adding a lot more to this composition. So I'm just gonna brush in a little bit more and then I'll show you how we can stylize and finish this shot. So there we go. I think that looks pretty good. If we turn this off and on, 
we have a lot of silky look to the water, and we haven't removed a lot of this contrast and color in the sky. So now what I do to finish off these photos is I'll go over to my layers, I'll right click, and I'll select New Stamped Layer. That's going to merge these two layers together and then duplicate them so that I have one composition that I can deal with. It also maintains those two layers that I merged together so that I can go back and modify them if I want. So now we have this one single exposure, and if I go into my Develop tab here, if I play with any of these adjustments, I'm modifying this entire image. So let's go in here, and I'll just add a local adjustment layer. I'll set it to darken, and we'll just apply this to the top area on our photograph. We'll go down and I'll add in a little bit more color with some saturation. And then I'm going to go up and to really finish this photo, I'm going to go into effects. I'll add a filter and I'll go down and I'll add a LUTs filter. And one of my favorite presets is in this more menu and I like to choose this one keen. So if I turn this off and on, adds in a nice bit of color, some contrast, and really focuses our eyes on this water and then the sunset here. So if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard, added some nice style to it. And if I go up to my layers pane and I turn this bright layer off and I turn this top layer off and on, you can see we've done a good job of bringing back in contrast and color to the sky while also bringing in some nice flowy water in here. So that's how to blend two exposures together to create one single image. I'm Dylan with On One. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.